Hello there and welcome back to Subnautica. When we left off, we started building a moon pool, which I've... That's not... That's the scanner room. The moon pool is just out here. We finished it off off screen because I had to collect an ungodly amount of titanium just to finish my little bit. So we've just finished off the solar panels here. We finished the moon pool. I thought I'd start an episode so we can dock the uh, seam off for the first time. Together. And crash it on the way in. This should charge our power cells, and we should actually be able to upgrade now as well from here. Which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Uh, what else have I done? I've also built two extra plant pots to get our stuff going. And we've got a little tiny bit more storage in here now as well, which required some titanium. So we've got that going, but we need to build some stuff, and we've also got a message to listen to. But, first things first, I need... Of course I need more titanium. I need to build a laser cutter before we go adventuring anymore. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the next objective. I've got to stuff for a compass as well. I'm going to do that. I think that'll come in handy in the long run. So, we've got that now. So we'll be able to actually tell which direction we're going in, which is quite good. We'll listen to this as well. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... How many of you... I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Yeah, you better feel bad. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Okay. Okay. Right, um, so what do we need? We need a bit of titanium. I'd say most of these lockers are empty. I think the main main four of the middle are the ones we've got. I just got it for extra space. Uh, so we just need a piece of titanium. We'll go and find a quick piece of titanium. Let our sea moth charge for a second. The only problem is I'm starting to run out of battery in almost everything now. Um, so we need a battery charger like Bronto. Uh, but yeah. So once we make this laser cutter, that'll make exploring wrecks a bit easier, though. Oh, I always do this. I always go the wrong way. Yeah. We need more diamond. That's what we need as well. So we might have to go back to the mushroom forest at some point. But I also kind of want to go down to the uh, the place where we saw the pink mushrooms. I think that could be interesting. We'll just fire it off willy-nilly. Could have blasted a hole through our window. Uh, may as well cook up this peeper that we've got here as well. I'm going to have to collect some um, some things for water because we're running low on water, but we have got that tree. So I'm going to go and see how that works before we do anything. I think we just cut at it, maybe? I don't know how many times you can do that, but we're going to munch. That's really good food and water, to be honest. Well, that's just topped us off entirely. How many times do you get slashes on it? Okay. So we need to make sure we plant at least one of them again. And then we can munch the rest of them. We probably should get a couple of uh, bottles of water just for the travels. So I'll go and catch a couple of... Uh, you know who's... Bladder fish. One. Should be alright with about two, I reckon. Because then that gives us enough to get back if need be. So the last thing we want to do is thirst to death. That'd be embarrassing. Uh, yes, I know I did it again. <laughs> right. See, I tried to do all the fiddly bits off screen, but failed miserably, as you can see. Uh, right, let's go in. That's our scanner room there. So the moon pool's in our little greenhouse that's not really... These seem to be growing really well as well. So let's see. I'm kind of in the way of the air, so you can't really see how much energy we've got in it. We're at 100%, which is good. We are slightly damaged, but not damaged enough to worry about it. Right, okay, so which way was the jelly fields? It might have just been down here, to be honest. It's so dark at night time. We've just got another message as well. I'm sure it was in the red zone. 
But now we've got the laser cutter as well. We're going to be able to make our way through some of the doors in the wreckage, so it might actually be worth... There's that nuclear waste bin that I was talking about that I didn't think we'd find again. I'm going to pick that up while we're here. May as well. Cool. Let's go. I actually didn't think I was going to find that again. Right, okay. So we're looking for big openings in the ground. Keep your eyes peeled. But if we find a wreckage before now, it might be worth having a look and see if there's any lasery doors. Hello, friend. I feel like we're at the wrong side for the uh, opening. There we go, here's some crop. I don't think this is a big one, this is just a little small fragment. There is some vents though, weirdly enough. I wonder if, no, there probably isn't. I was wondering if there was anything potentially in them then, but... I think we've seen that pod. Right. So we'll keep going round, I guess. On the uh, red side. I don't know what this area is called. Oh, there's more wreckage here. I don't think I've seen this one. I might have done, but I don't think I have. Looks like there might be a way in at the back there. Oh, we have, I think. I remember that, kind of. I'll park right near the thing, and then we can get some oxygen when we need it. Um, torch. I have, but it's low on battery. Probably want to keep the laser cutter out, actually, now. Right, so we've got this. I'm pretty sure I went in here last time. I don't know how the door shut again. Yeah, because I remember the wall planters. Here's the laserable door. Okay, so this takes a little while. We cut a man-shaped hole for us to swim through. It's okay. Hopefully there's loads of goodies on the other side. I could do with some battery charges, though. That'd be ideal. Hello. It's a modification station. We've got full one of that pulsion cannon. We haven't found any of that yet. Um, lightweight high capacity tank. Interesting. I mean, if you want to give me a spare battery, I'd appreciate that. Right, because we spent some time opening that, I'm going to get a quick gulp of air. And then we're going to go through that. Hello. Coming through, making my way down. I'm quite scared of that electricity. That would be uh, dangerous. Right, so we've got to keep in mind it's right by that. 100 meters. Mobile vehicle bay. Uh, propulsion cannon. We need this, so that's good. Alright, we've got that available now. That's really good. Battery, please. Oh, water. Laser cutter. Vehicle bay. Not finding much in terms of stuff that we actually need. Something here. Vehicle upgrade console. That is probably vital, to be honest. Hydrochloric acid. Okay. I'm not seeing much else. I was kind of hoping for a battery charger. We might be able to get further down. But I'm a bit paranoid about the air. So, we are going to go and have another gulp. And then we'll go down and have another scan. And then if we find nothing, we find nothing. Oh. Got to be thorough, I suppose. There is a way. Th you totally can't open this door, I don't think. But it totally looks like you can as well. Right. So we can see. There's no way further down, is there? Or I should say there's nothing further down. Right. Okay. There's no other sneaky vents or anything, is there?
No, it looks like that's it. Right, okay. Well, we got some good stuff there. The vehicle modification station was the big deal. I think that was the big takeaway, really. And propulsion cannon, obviously. What was the other one? The other one was like a stasis gun or something like that. Okay, so that must have been where we were just then, because it's blocked off. Right, interesting. At least we found some good stuff there. I know there's loads of stuff I can scan and get titanium, but there's no need for that just yet. I want to know what's just over this point here. It kind of looks deeper. Oh, this is the mushroom area, isn't it? Right, okay, so at least we know where that is. So that's near a base. So I'm guessing we have to go the other direction to find those pink mushrooms. So I guess we'll uh, just keep floating on by, I guess. Hey, you. You keep to yourself. You keep to yourself. Oops. Sorry, mate. Fish concussions all around. Right. I don't know where we are, to be honest. I don't know. I'm quite frightened of the big roaring noises that I'm hearing there. I'm going to have a quick look. We're going to go up here. We're near an island, by the looks of things. Somehow. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but it weirds me out. Right, we're going to go towards our base, because then at least I know I'm on the right track. So we can only go 200 meters deep, it looks like. I am hearing big roaring coming from somewhere. And it scares me ever so slightly. Right, okay. I'm feeling rather directionally challenged at the moment. I'm not so scared of you when I know there's bigger, bigger fish around here. Also, I'm in an armored tube, so you can't do much to me. Right, so now we know base is close. I'm kind of going to deviate off a little bit this way. And we'll kind of see what's up ahead here. We are still looking for wreckage at the same time, so like, there's a red area here. This could have been just where we were, though. you think the compass would help me, but no. We got any goodies? Any goodies? This does look different, so maybe this is the right way. There's another wreckage here at the side. I mean, we may as well have a quick look around. You never know. Anything good? Doesn't look like there's much here at all, apart from debris. Which is fine. So I'll need that at some point, no doubt. There is something here, though. Looks like an openable door from outside. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Right, so look if we've got this seam off, I swear. Well, so there is no way in hell we're able to equip the rebreather. Is that the battery charger? It is. That's actually awesome. Acquired. We'll have to build that as soon as possible, really. It's another charger fragment. And I cut open a bull door. Let's spend about two years opening it with the laser again. Must be boiling hot being so close to this, surely. Okay. Kick it through. Okay, well, uh, that's not good. I'm going to have to use the sea glide as a light. It's a mobile vehicle bay, some propulsion cannons, which we already have, mind you. Doesn't seem like there's much new here. Laser. I mean, this would be a really good titanium area. 
But that's about it. All right, we need some air. And then we get out. So I'm going to need to make some new batteries, or charge the ones I do have. Hello? Anything useful? Another charger? Well, this is the place to be if you want a charger, I'll tell you. There is a vent here. Doesn't seem to lead anywhere, though. And then it's just way back outside. So it's a sm short and sweet area. That's fine. We got the battery out of here, so, like, that's just great, to be honest. Right. This has to be the pink mushroom area, surely. Though I'm not seeing anything. That could just be me missing it, I think. There's something over there. What is that? that looks like a big bit of uh, wreckage just above the mushrooms. Alright, leave me and my ship alone. This looks huge, this one. There's something there that looks things. I think that's inside, though. Oh, I might be able to get in from there, to be honest. Right, we need our repair tool out, so I might replace that with the knife. Just for now. Because we're at 50% somehow. We've run over too many fish, that's why. Right, and then we can go in and have a little explore. Though I have no light. Which isn't very cool, but, you know. Put the sea, uh, sea glide for now. That helps a little bit. Okay, for something so big, it doesn't look like there's much here. Cyclops hull fragment. Did we pick up the whole thing there? Okay. So it was worth it. It won't be worth it if I get trapped down here, though. Wow, this goes on for quite a while. I'm going to have to be careful. All right, full, full lungs of air. And then we'll deep dive. I think I'm low enough where it's, it's a pain to breathe, I think. There was the other side. Wow. Is there any point for this? Am I seeing any vents anywhere? No? No? It's just a place you can go. Anything here? No? Okay. Well, it seems fairly empty apart from that one hole fragment. I don't know if I'm just being blind, though. something there. What's that? Power cell charger. Okay. I'm actually kind of glad I looked around a bit. Um, anything else? If I can get another one of them, that'd be fantastic. Have them straight away. It'd be great. I think that might be it, though. Have a little look, just in case there's, like... A sneaky vent that leads to another location. I doubt, though. I think that is the uh, location. We're cutting it close to get some oxygen, to be fair. Right. Let's turn around. Let's have a look for this big mushroom area still. Some Reginalds above me. My favourite fish in the game. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having a hard time finding this place. It's got to be around here somewhere. It's probably easier to see from higher up. I think I keep thinking it's like here. Ow. There is a lot of crash around here, to be fair, like uh, wreckage. Right. Keeping my eyeballs peeled. And still not seeing anything. I 
I've got to be at the wrong side. It is very hard to tell, though, to be honest. Right, what we can do is we make our way back to the drop pod. Then we can uh, kind of assess where we're going from there. I'm going to head towards a small island, but on the seabed. And then maybe... It'll be there. So I think I'm at the wrong side. I don't know if there's red... Red areas both sides. Something nipping at my heels. There's got to be. Right, okay, so if we go up here, I might be better getting out, just have a peek. Right, so we've got the uh, main ship there. Island we have, uh, haven't explored over there. And then island we have explored all the way over there. Right, so, northwest. Northwest where we just came from, though. But I'm fairly certain the mushroom bits were over that way. So watch me have just, like, completely missed it. Right, so northwest. Run another scan. Fingers crossed. We'll find something. I'm like the fish destroyer. See, I don't think it's going to be here. Dude, that was a chunky fish. I'm going to have to repair again in a minute. Jeez. That was ridiculous. I was at like 40, the durability. It just keeps getting deeper and deeper. So this is the mushroom area again. There must be one on both sides. There's got to be. Bone sharks here. There's another one there. Okay, they're everywhere down here. We must be close to the floating island because look... What is here? What's that? I really wish you'd stop ramming me. Listen, mate. Leave me alone. I need this and I don't need you biting me. Right, stasis rifle. Did that give me the full thing just then? It seemed like it did. Is that a shale there? I need some more diamonds, so we might actually have to... Listen. You leave me alone. <laughs> Perfect. Dudes! Listen. I don't need the whole bone shark family invading my space. Really? Ah, so this was an island. I see. Is there any more to this? Come on! There's more shale there. You best not just follow me about this entire time. Look, I've got this repair gun. Alright, I'm getting plenty of time in here. I mean, if I can collect as much as possible, that'd be great. Is that another... I might scan this. Oh no, it's a propulsion cannon. We've got a full one of them. I know that for sure. Hello, friend. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, yeah. Oxygen efficiency decreased. As long as I know where my thing is, I should be okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Okay. You can stop following me now. Say so what? We'll get back in. <laughs> Safety reasons. We need more shale. 
So we're going to keep exploring these for a second. And if they'd stop trying to eat me, that'd be fantastic. Right, is there any wreckage on these things? That'd be kind of cool. Well, we failed at finding jellyfish. There is as well. We failed at finding jellyfish. Not jellyfish. Like the jelly things. The mushrooms, whatever they're called. But we have succeeded in finding a little wreckage and some random as hell floating islands. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a part of the thing. Can we get in here is the question. Without them destroying my... There's a door there. If you would leave the area, I would appreciate... Listen. I really wish I had some kind of... Jeez. <laughs> right, if I jump out, repair this, and then ram them at full speed, do you reckon that would make them back off? Alright, where are you? Where are you? Conveniently gone when I uh, decide to come and check it out. Listen. Back off. Right. There's a door immediately. Right, hopefully we don't get lost down here. I'm pretty sure they just get more complex as you go on. Just making sure there's no power cell things around. There's a planter. A picture frame. A bench. Or cell charger. Does that mean I've got both of them now? Because that's really cool. Yes. There's another door there. We don't want to get too, like, distracted and not focus on our air. There's more power cell stuff in here. So we would have been alright just in this one. There's a, a door I can cut open there. Maybe I can do that before I need to get air, if I'm quick. I don't know how quick you can be doing an automated process, though. Let's burn our way through. We should be alright doing this and then going to get some air. I have parked the Seamoth awkwardly, though. And hopefully it's not half destroyed by the time we get there. Yep, yep, yep. It's not a real 30 seconds, though, because we're below 100 thingies. There's the bone shark again. Probably coming to try and get another meal out of me. Speaking of meals, we're actually getting pretty hungry. We do have a peeper to eat. We have a nutrition brick to eat. And we have waters here. So we should be okay. Right, let's just quickly... Can I rebreather here, or is it nuclear? It's not nuclear. I'm gonna just top up my air again, just so we've got a full go. This should help us last a bit longer. So let's just go for it. Plus, if we've got the sea glide, we should be able to get through fairly quickly. I really hope that's not hurting my air uh, thing. Yeah, it's another thingy, power cell. Hello? What the hell is that? Prawn soup propulsion arm fragment. Okay. What are you? Stasis rifle. Did we get that fully? We did. I can't really see. All right, so we're gearing up. We might actually be able to go into the... Uh, Prawn soup fragment. The Aurora itself soon enough. Okay, well this does not look cool. What's that? PRAWN safety instructions appendix safety. What's this? Don't climb on your get off equipment while it's moving. Near blueprint acquired. Right, okay, so we're gonna have to cut this door open, but again, I may eh taking risks. I mean, I could half do it and then come back to it, I guess. We're going to have to build that battery charger as soon as we get back, though, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we're nearly there. 
I'll kick a hole in this, then we'll go back and get some air. Right, so we can get down here. It's, this is going to be a maze, I can almost tell. I'm just lucky we can get into this easily. I just wish there was an easier way. You know, like a crack in the side somewhere down here. No such luck, though. It's hard to see without my torch. I don't know what a data terminal did. This goes on forever by the looks of things. Oh, there's something there. Swim charge fins. You held two. That's actually really good. Pretty sure I can get through here. Gotta be careful though. Alright, so there's a lot of stasis rifle things, so I think it's you're almost guaranteed to get it if you come here first. Okay, that leads outside. I mean, that's good to know. Can we get our sea glide and come back around? Uh, sea glide, seam off. I'm just going to have a quick check back in that room if I can get around there. I'm not going to be able to find it again now, though, the door. Yeah, it's there. I right, so we'll park right here a second. Is that at least... Are you serious? Listen, ugly. Leave my equipment alone. Do not destroy it while I'm away, please. Thank you. I think that was probably it to the whole place, though, to be fair. Right, noisy. Okay, just, just double checking. I think that's it. There's something there, actually, so it's not. Nutrient block, that's good. I mean, I would have preferred a battery, to be honest, but, you know. Right, oh, there's something here as well. First aid kit, I suppose that's okay as well. I feel like I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna have to check, the, like, some further back slightly. I've just missed two, two boxes, so... I think that's it, to be honest. All right, let's move on. Let's get in our seam off, because it's slowly getting damaged without us being here. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage it's a prawn arm, it looks like there. A drill arm, that was quite cool. Yeah, she don't need to attack me. I'll just get in my boat and get away. Looks like there's another thing there. Jeez, this is really quite rich in resources, this area. A creature decoy. A nutrient block? With a drill arm. But that shark seems to be coming relatively close to me and I don't like it. Well, we can actually make that now, so that'll be handy when that... There. A ruby. Hello. I'm gonna scan this bone shark. And get brutally murdered by it at the same time. I don't know why I took that risk. But I did, and it's too late now. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up a bunch of rubies if this has loads of rubies here. But first, we probably should make sure we know where our... Uh, Seamoth is. For air reasons. I mean, park it slightly low. There. Hasn't got much step to it, has it? Listen. I'm gonna have to repair this. That just took a huge amount of damage in such a short time. Right, okay. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna have to park it somewhere where there's not so many enemies, I think. If we get on the edge of the crush depth, like here... 
then again, if he gets if he gets knocked into it, that's gonna be an issue then. I'm just gonna have to be like here, I think. They won't leave me alone though. And neither will the fish by the looks of things. Even the fish alone are just taking off like 30 damage. Needs more armor. I don't know if that's an option, but it does need more armor. Right. Rubies, that's our mission. I don't know what it's for, but that is our mission. Some lithium, I may as well pick up some more of that. Maybe there's more caves around here? There's some there. Um... Any more? Right, I don't know. We're gonna go back, I think, and figure out what the rubies are used for. We can't go much deeper without like a, a like a depth module. And I don't know where they are, to be honest with you. I just know they're a thing. But we need to get away from these guys now. Watch me find the mushroom area as I'm going back now. Either way. Well, we've had to just deal with a shed load of bone sharks, which wasn't exactly what I was intending. But we did get a ton of good stuff out of that. Right. I don't know if I've seen this one before. I think I have. I'm sure it'll tell me about it in the future. We also need to check this out, but he's deeper than I can go. But we have found some modification stuff. So we, got, we can make a modification station. Which I probably should do. Where's my base? There. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what needs to go into that first of all. But we'll park this up and get it recharged. Aboard, and we need to make a battery charger as well. That's a, that's a main thing. But we also need... Some other form of power as well. Right. Let's get the house builder out. Because if we can get a battery charger done first, I think that'll be... We can almost... In fact, we can make that, probably. Whoops. I'm just going to find out where I've, I've stored my lead. Some there. So, modification station. I think that's probably a go-to build. So we'll put him there just for now. We can move him later. Uh, let's see what it's, let's see what it does. A thermo blade that could be pretty cool. Oh, that's how we make the charge fins. What the hell's polynylene? <laughs> oh god, that's good. Magnetite. We've not come across that yet. Plasteel. We need that. Um, we can make plasteel, so that's good. Uh, I don't know, though. We've got these as well. Oh, we can actually make the polynylene, though. Hydrochloric acid. Deep shrooms, we've not seen them. Salt, we've seen little patches of salt around. Um, we can make these now. I need to make these, to be fair, because then we can go and see the aurora. Creech decoy, eh? Right, okay. So battery charger, battery charger, one thing at a time. I'm gonna get carried away with all the extra bits. We also need to get this. Um, but I'll do that in a minute. Oh, there's our bin. Um, so battery chargers, where are you? I'm being blind, being blind. It's gonna be in here, surely. Wiring kit, copper wire. We should be able to do that. Providing I actually put my stuff in... Places that make sense. Um, so wiring kits and copper wire. Beautiful. And then we can make that and we'll put that on the wall here, I guess. 
up at the top. And then we can kind of just remove our batteries and all our stuff there. So we'll take that out. And we'll see how this works. Uh, we'll take the Sea Glide one out. We may as well. And then we'll just plug some batteries in, I guess. Uh, we've got a one for our torch as well that needs going. Plug you in. And then what else was there? There was the. I may, I may as well do the laser cutter as well. Because that's halfway down. If we can recharge all our batteries, it's so much better than just making them over and over again. But it might be worth just to have four in there at all times. And we can just kind of swap them out every time we come back. So I might make some batteries. I might do that off screen though. We'll see. But yeah, we'll leave them in there for now. Charge it away. Uh, should we listen to this? Um, maybe. But you know what? In fact, I might do that next time. <laughs> We're going to leave the episode there. I hope you've enjoyed so far. Sorry we didn't get to go and see the mushroom area. I will find out where that is, and we'll go there maybe next time. But we did go and get a lot of stuff this episode. We went and found loads of things, battery chargers included, and all of the stuff. But we'll listen to that message and then find the jellyfish area probably next time. I don't know why I keep calling it a jellyfish area. It's because the mushrooms look like jellyfish. Anyway. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, because I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.